Okay, uh, I think we can start here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, friends, a warm welcome to the Nordic Open Science Conference. My name is Sven Stavström, Director General of the Swedish Research Council. Uh, I'm very happy to give this welcoming address together with the co-hosts of the conference, Nordforsk and uh, the National Library of Sweden. What is open science? Uh, I think if I would ask you, I, I would uh, get different answers from, from most of you. I think there is no unique answer to this question. Uh, and this is not really the aim of this conference to, to reach the conclusion of what, what really uh, open science stands for. Uh, we will hear a lot about it during these two days and learn from good examples of how to and to what extent both science and society can benefit from openness. Let me give one example that I think illustrates quite well some aspects and also obstacles of, of the science that we have today. I had the opportunity last week to meet with the representatives of our Committee of Educational Sciences. We discussed strategies and challenges, in particular how, to, how the knowledge obtained from research could be transferred to teachers, principals, school administration, etc. They presented a very interesting initiative in the form of a PhD training program. After completion of the, degree, of the PhD degree, the PhD should be employed by the municipality to act as a bridge between science and schools. These people train and research should raise awareness of science among teachers and help them to make use of the results from, in this case, education sciences. This is a very good idea, the true spirit of open science. However, th there was a problem in that as soon as the, the researcher left uh, the university and became employed by the municipality, he or she lost the easy access to scientific journals. And without open access, the job became much more difficult. We should uh, do something about this. Open access to scientific publications is an important aspect of open science. Uh, a few words about the uh, Swedish Research Council in this context of, of, of open science. We are heavily involved in activities related to open science. A few examples. The conditions for our grantees uh, involve clear statements related to open access to publications. We are currently working on a model to ensure that data management plans, when relevant, are, are a part of the... Uh, uh, when relevant are a part of the scientific projects for, process for projects funded by us. us. This model will be announced in connection to our calls starting from next year, 2019. Closely related to this, we are also in the process of presenting criteria to help scientists and research institutions to fulfill the FAIR criteria, or FAIR principles for, for research data. And we are taking active part in, in supporting the kind of initiatives that I just talked about in relation to the, to the schools. This is something that we in Swedish call Samverkan. Also a very important part of, of, of open science, I think. Different countries are dealing with open science in different ways, but I think that the Nordic countries have so much in common and really benefit from good example from, from our neighbors. So this, uh, once again, is the real aim of this conference. And uh, therefore, I'm also looking very much forward to hear about these good examples from, from our, our Nordic neighbors. Uh, so, it is my great pleasure then to introduce uh, Arne Floyen, director of Nordforsk, to also say a few words. Please, Arne. Thank you, Sven, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm happy to see so many gathered here today to discuss open science. It shows that this topic is of greatest interest and relevance to the entire research community. Many of you, but not all, know Nordforsk, who we are, What's our goal and our activities? Nordforsk is a platform for Nordic research and research infrastructure collaboration that was established by the Nordic Council of Ministers back in 2005. Our goal is to facilitate effective and trustful research collaboration in the Nordic region and ensure that research has the highest international quality and realizes Nordic added value. Open science has been high on the Nordforsk agenda for several years. We have, for example, published position papers on open access to data 
and the Nordic e-science action plans. Moreover, as a funder of research, we have already for several years pushed for open access publication in our funded projects. Nordforsk is a small organization which collaborates closely with the national research funding organizations. Nordforsk could well be the instrument the Nordic research funders could use to explore and pilot open science activities at the Nordic level. Our position and size provides a unique possibility for the Nordic region to become a testbed within this area. We have, for example, the Nordic e-infrastructure collaboration, NAIC, which is a collaboration between the national e-infrastructure providers that aims to provide tools and techniques for the Nordic research community. NAIC is a collaboration that's organized under Nordforsk. NAIC has the ambition to take on a leading position in the realization of the European Open Science Cloud, EOSC, by forming its Nordic equivalent. NAIC is currently preparing a proposal to Horizon 2020 for funding of the development of the Nordic Open Science Cloud. I'm also happy to inform that Nordforsk itself will announce a call under the Nordic e-science globalization initiative, NEGI. The call will probably be announced by the end of this year, and available funding is approximately 12 million Norwegian crowns. The aim of this call is to enable cross-disciplinary research collaborations where Nordic data sets are used as input for research in the fields of climate and environment, and health and social preconditions for health. The Nordic countries have, a, have or are building unique databases and data repositories containing data sets in these areas. Many of these data sets can be seen to be currently underused as input data for e-science research. Finally, I will thank the National Library of Sweden and the Swedish, Swedish Research Council for excellent collaboration in the preparatory phase of this conference. Thank you. Thank you, Arne. Uh, so next uh, speaker is Gunilla Hedenberg, National Libra Librarian uh, from the National Library of Sweden. Please, Gunilla. Thank you, Sven. Ladies and gentlemen, so nice to see you all. Free and open access to knowledge is a fundamental right in a democra democratic and sustainable society. Free information for future knowledge is also the vision of the National Library of Sweden. And why is this important? We live in a digital knowledge and information society. This poses new challenges and opportunities to all of us. These are the times when we have the technical prerequisites to realize free information to everyone. The restrictions are primarily of a legal and economic nature. Since 2006, the National Library has been working with open access to scientific results in Sweden. And since 2017, the National Library holds the government's assignment to act as a national coordinating body in the work towards a transition to open access to scholarly publications. The transition to open access, to scholarly, the transition to open access and open science requires strong collaboration between different stakeholder groups, both nationally and internationally. We are therefore glad to have stakeholder representations from Swedish funding agencies and researchers in all of the five national working groups on open access that are being coordinated by the National Library. Also, we are very proud to participate in different Nordic groups collaborating on open access. Libraries are amazing resources for knowledge, education and demo democracy. They stand for integrity, quality, and everyone's right to uncorrupted information. Open science is often described as having the potential to strengthen the quality, importance, and usefulness of science by making it more reliable, more efficient, and more accessible to a society as a whole. 
in an open science system where the public is given the opportunity to access and participate in scientific knowledge production, there is a great potential to increase the public understanding of the scientific process. And that would increase citizens' trust in science and to create a sustainable and democratic society. And nothing can be more. It has been a great honor to collaborate with the Swedish Research Council and Nordfosk in the organization of this Nordic Open Science Conference. And I'm very much looking forward to a couple of days of interesting conversations and knowledge sharing between the Nordic countries. Thank you. <clears throat> so then the... Open Science Conference is open, uh, and we like to hand over the word to, to our moderator, Sophie Björling. Sophie is the head of the Department of Research Infrastructure at the Swedish Research Council. So please, Thank take over. Thank you.